Long a throw as Manchester United can muster here. Now it goes short to Anderson. Can't be time for the cross, it's driven in by Evra. Park going for it. Foul by Fabio, that surely is that. Just wait for the explosion of joy. At least from one end of the stadium. Some of the others have already gone. Manchester City are in the FA Cup final and they've done it at the expense of Manchester United. Days don't get much better than this for City, their fans, their players and a somewhat beleaguered Roberto Mancini. Yaya Toure with the one goal taking his chance. Manchester United missed theirs, particularly in the first half with Berbatov. Rio Ferdinand has obviously seen or heard something that he didn't like from Balotelli. United aren't going to go quietly. And Ferdinand still furious. And Van der Sar trying to, I think, act as peacemaker in the end, although he looked as though he might have wanted a piece of it. It's a shame, really. In these scenes, the rivalry is so fierce, and fired David Platt, who was once upon a time a Manchester United junior as a player. But there will be no treble for this Manchester United this year. They're focused now on the Premier and the Champions League. Manchester City into their ninth FA Cup final. Stuart, I apologise for not allowing you in earlier. Well, they played well in the second half, and they did what we said they should do. They pressed higher up the field, and that's how the goal came about. They won the ball back in Manchester United's half. First of all from Van der Zaar, then from a pass from Carrick, and Yaya Turi, as the game wore on, as that player behind the main strike, he got better and better. And he was the most effective player on the field, alongside David Silva. Both those players played really well, and company at the back. Well, after their first FA Cup semi for 30 years, their first final for 30 years against either Stoke City or Bolton. Bolton they met in 1926 when they also knocked Manchester United out at the semi-final stage. You won't get a greater contrast of emotions in a semi-final at Wembley than this, because...